Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a speed cleaning, but it's a little bit special of a speed cleaning. I'm gonna show you how to make your house guest ready in about an hour's time because I am also in crunch time mode now. My husband just informed me we have dinner guests coming over. We bought him a brand new smoker for his birthday present. His birthday is this coming Wednesday. And he decided to go buy a big huge piece of meat and invite a few of my cousins and some of the extended family without telling me. So now I've got about two hours before they arrive, which gives me about an hour and a half to clean for my little window of time that I like to make sure if anybody arrives early, the house is done. So I'm gonna show you how to get your house guests ready in about an hour to an hour and a half. One little side note, if for some reason you do not have an hour or even an hour and a half or two hours to devote to the cleaning, I am gonna tell you as I go, things to prioritize and things to do if you have the extra time to spare. If you do not have the extra time to spare, there are shortcuts for everything to make your actual main living area look clean and then you can shove anything you want hidden away in the bedrooms where no one will be going and then you can always clean that up later. Okay, the first place I'm going to tackle is whatever bathroom in my house the guests are going to be using. I focus on the vanity so they have a clean space to wash their hands, the mirror, make sure that's nice and clean, and the toilet. You don't need to worry about the shower or the tub unless they're overnight guests, so just ignore that part and let it go. Make sure you do scrub the counters down and the cabinets just in case there's any disgusting little marks on it. Make sure there's no toothpaste spatter on the mirror, things like that. Scrub the toilet down really, really good all around it including the base area because you never know when they're gonna look at that and it just makes it look awful and disgusting in your bathroom if the base of your toilet looks gross. Do make sure there's also a fresh roll of toilet paper in here for them as well. One little trick I like, take the trash out, make it a clean bag, but before you put the new bag in, take a dryer sheet, spray it with Febreze or some other kind of scent that you like, put it in the bottom of the trash can and then go ahead and line it with a new bag as you normally would. It acts as like an extra hidden air freshener in the bathroom. I don't have time to deep clean the floors, but I am going to sweep or vacuum these floors and make sure to do the area rugs too because you don't have time to wash them. For another added little thing, go ahead and either light a candle or do some kind of air freshener in here. I have a Scentsy because I have kids so I don't really trust the candle, but I am gonna put a fresh Scentsy in here. Move on to the front entryway, whatever entryway in your house that your guests are going to enter through. Make sure that's clean. If there's mirrors, wipe them down. If you have decorations for Halloween, make sure they're lit or fall. And then go ahead and make sure you give your floors just a good sweep or vacuum real quick. And that will be the stopping point if you don't have much time. If you have extra time, go ahead and spot clean your floors. Here's a little trick you can use just a Swiffer and some antibacterial wipes and they will connect to the pole. So you can go ahead and use that for some quick spot cleans. I will be doing this method throughout the rest of the house as well because I have the extra time. If you don't, just skip this step, stick to the vacuum and move on. As well in your entryway, if you do have the extra time, dust any furniture, entry tables, whatever you have. But again, that's only if you have the spare time. We won't have Now I'm gonna move into the living room where we'll be spending the majority of our time other than the kitchen, obviously, because where food will be. Go ahead and pick up anything that does not belong out there, any toys, any hats, trash, extra remotes, anything like that, pick them up, get them out of your way, and again, light any decorations or candles and things like that for the aesthetic appeal. And as well out here, I'm going to light the same scentsy smell that I have in the front bathroom just to make it all combine. And do not forget to fix up your couch with your throw pillows and your throw blankets. And here in a second, you will also see me spray one of the room scents from the Mrs. Myers. I sprayed that all over the couch. If you don't have something like that, 
Febreze works, Lysol works, anything that will get any smell from animals or things like that out of your linens. Got better things to do. Tell your friends I will be just fine. Don't need no therapist. There's nothing like, nothing like wine. The last place I worry about tackling is the kitchen because usually you're still in here prepping food or drinks or something like that. So I make sure all the rest of it's ready, then I handle the kitchen. I will fit whatever I can into the dishwasher and then I'll make sure to hand wash and make sure to dry and don't leave them sitting there because oh, I'll give it 15 minutes and I'll come back and put these away. You'll forget, you'll get something else going on and you will have dishes sitting on your counter. So just go ahead and do the whole process in once Put the stuff in the dishwasher, hand wash, rinse, and dry. If you have the added extra time, Go ahead and give your sink a good scrub because that is where one of the nastiest smells comes out of your kitchen. I'm using some Lysol lemon because it will smell like I've been scrubbing my house, but I haven't been. So that's why I'm using this, just to give the house that added smell of clean, even though it's not deep cleaned. My guests will still think that it is. I will make sure to find the time to wipe down all of my counters because there's something always sticky somewhere on those countertops. It's life with kids, it's just how it works. So I will make sure to find the time to wipe down all of my countertops as well as my dining room table, which I didn't show. If you have the extra time, your stainless steel is a big eye pop in your kitchen. If you have the time, wipe it all down. If you don't, it's fine, but it will make a bigger statement if you do have the time to wipe down all of your stainless steel appliances, including your glass cooktop. And again, I'm using the same little floor spot cleaning method throughout my kitchen and my living room. And I'm one of those, if I'm gonna have a dessert, I like to display it, it's just one of my personal preferences. So I am gonna go ahead and put a pretty cake on the counter that's for the guest. Having a clean sink is cue for her to start begging for water. <laughs> This is just what she prefers. I know I've showed you guys this before, but I just find it so weird that as soon as I get an empty sink, she's up here ready for it. So the main living areas are clean. No, they're not deep clean, but they are definitely clean. It is passable, it is clean in here. It smells good, looks good, the whole nine yards. It all will depend to on how much time you had. If you had 20 minutes, 30 minutes, an hour, two hours, your house will be at different stages of clean, but regardless, it will still look good to your guests and that is the point. You can always hide anything left over off in your bedroom and seal that area off because no company goes in there anyways. You do not, however, want to still be cleaning when your guests arrive. Working on food in the kitchen is one thing. Still cleaning and like scrubbing a spot on the floor or cleaning the guest toilet, you don't wanna be doing that. So definitely prioritize your time so you can be done about 15 to 20 minutes before their estimated time of arrival, just to save yourself from that. You can always be cooking when they arrive, but try to not be cleaning when they arrive. And also, if you're still in your cleaning clothes, like I am, just prioritize a good few minutes to change your clothes and fix up a little bit. One other thing to make sure, I definitely do this before my guests arrive, is I change the bag of trash. Every time you have company, someone has to throw something away, whether it's a tissue, a napkin, a bottle cap, it could be anything, you do not want them having a half bag of trash to deal with or even more trash than that. It's just, it's a scent, it's unclean. Take out your bag of trash and have it a clean, ready to go can before your guests arrive. That is one good tip I will say. 
having said all that now, I only have about 10 to 15 minutes before my guest estimated time of arrival, so I do need to go change my clothes, fix up myself, go clean off my little baby's face who's laying here next to me because she's covered in some kind of cookie that her big brother gave her. So I do have some things I need to go get done. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to my channel already, please consider doing so, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.